Okay, we're going to do electrotherapy on the Dynatron. Um, the on-off switch is in the back, so turn it on. And we're going to start with pain control. And we'll do this using the IFC current because that is the most common. So with IFC, of course, we need two channels and they're going to cross for the area that we want to treat. We'll use some self-adhesive electrodes. And we'll treat, let's see, we're just going to treat around the knee joint. Again, this is for pain at a sensory level. We could do this with tens uh, units, but we'll just start with interferential. All right, so on our machine, then <coughs> um, we push IFC, and there's an automatic setup that comes up. We get an automatic 10 minutes. Um, this button right here tells us our frequency. It will automatically go to high which we need a high frequency for sensory, so, um, or it will go to low if I push it again. So if I, I'll demonstrate that. So on high, our frequency is 80 to 150 um, pulses per second. If I switch it to low, it'll go, it'll modulate between 0 and 10 pulses per second. For sensory level, we'll put it on high, and um, we're back to our time. Typically, we'll treat for 20 minutes. And then we start to increase the intensity for the patient says that they feel a buzz or tingly sensation. Okay, he's saying he feels it now. Um, and we'll go up until it's comfortable or until he says it's uncomfortable and then we can back it off a little bit and that's where it will sit. Throughout the treatment, he may have to increase the intensity because he'll accommodate to it. Um, and we'll check on him occasionally. Make sure he doesn't have any adverse reactions. Uh, when it's all done, it'll automatically stop. Uh, we inspect the area and then clean, clean the site. So typically, we'll use interferential for um, primarily just sensory level. If we're going to use um, differential for motor level, we're just going to adjust the parameters. So um, we can restart interferential, and if I want motor level pain control, I put the frequency on low, which means it's going to modulate between 0 and 10 pulses per second, and I'll increase the intensity until we see uh, a muscle twitch. Uh, we might not get one just because of our electro placement, but we'll watch and see. See anything? Is that mm -mm. So we're getting a little bit of a muscle twitch, and then we'll back it down a little bit. So as long as we have a muscle twitch, we know we're at motor level, a muscle contraction. You can see a little bit of twitch taking place here. That'll run its course, and then it'll automatically shut off. Again, we take the electrodes off and put everything away.